We're here at Dar Renton East again for Athlete of the Week. Today we have Trench Challenge Elite Competitor Michael Kittigo. Joanne? Congratulations, Mike. Who would you like to donate your check to? Hi, Joanne. Yes, I'd like to donate this check to Special Olympics of Guam. Now, this year's Trench Challenge event is scheduled for Sunday at the Guam International Raceway uh, Park in Jigo. Uh, tell us how you've been preparing for this year's event. Okay, so this year I've been focusing on endurance because uh, a lot of the obstacles, they're meant for everybody to, to overcome. Um, they're not too hard, um, but they're a good enough challenge. So for me personally, I've been focusing on the run because that's where uh, you can beat everybody's time. And what are some of the... Uh, obstacles that uh, you're looking forward to most that might have maybe give you a little uh, run for your money uh, in last year's event? Uh, I, I think it's the Atlas carry. That one was pretty fun. I struggled a little bit because it was wet, but uh, I think this time I'll get good technique to hold that giant ball up. So that's what I'm looking forward to. And I'm sure you're really targeting that qualifying time to also be able to represent Guam in off island competition. Oh, yes, of course. I, I definitely want to travel again. I've been there every year since they've allowed the uh, competition to qualify. So this time I, I want to go again and join my teammates. What is that like, uh, start of the race with all the elite competitors uh, taking off at one time and then seeing guys that might have a little bit difficulty on certain events and you're, you're either getting passed up or you're passing somebody up? Um, I actually feel honored to run with those guys because uh, you see that you're, you're not the strongest or you're not the fastest and everyone has their different strengths and weaknesses. So it's a it's nice uh, equalizer on that start line. And you've represented Guam in uh, London and Canada. And how has that been for you, the experience and seeing world class competitors out there doing the same thing that you enjoy doing so much? Uh, it's of course, it's inspiring because I see like older folks like in their 50s and even 60s doing the same things I'm doing. So that gives me a lot of hope that when I'm older, I can do the keep doing this uh, competition. All right. Congratulations. Stay tuned to our next Dow Red Zone Athlete of the Week. KUAM Sports Athlete of the Week is brought to you by winning this year's Bud Light Women's Futsal League Championship title was the heavy hitters nutrition mission heat 5-4 over the quality distributor squad. Tamika Hechenova, Harmony Guitar, and Alexandra Shimasaki scored one goal each for the winning team. The Heat's other two goals came on quality own goals. Quality's Paige Sturber and China Ramirez were honored with the 2019 season's Golden Boot and Golden Glove Awards, respectively. Budweiser Men's Futsal League, the Bank of Guam Strikers, capped off its undefeated season with an 11-7 championship victory over Guam Shipyard. Aiden Dixon and Ian Mariano each scored hat tricks for the winning team, and teammate Isaiah Lagutang scored twice. Jason Cunliffe and Joseph Connolly also scored for the Strikers. Strikers player Marcus Lopez was recognized as the 2019 season's Golden Boot winner, and quality distributors Brett Maluwaming earned the league's 2019.